Since I don't have pen tab for now, I'm giving my demo on paper and pen only. So I'm going to take the topic of photosynthesis. which is basically divided into two parts light reaction and dark reaction now I'm going to focus on light reaction only in this video so light reaction is a very important reaction since it actually produces oxygen which is the byproduct of this reaction and it uses light and water for conducting this reaction in thylakoid of chloroplast now basically what happens is in the thylakoid membrane there are two protein complexes which we know which are known as PS2 and PS1 PS stands for photosystem now what happens is basically this this 2 and 1 this this name actually came just because in uh, like that their sequence of discovery so this has nothing to do with the sequence of event that happens in the light reaction so what happens is when photons of light falls on the reaction system which is also known as the chlorophyll reaction system of this photosystem 2 two electrons get excited and then they try to move out of this complex of this photosystem and they, es they find an escape for themselves and they go to a protein ex acceptor of these electrons now they again try to move forward towards this PS1 system but because that thing actually requires a lot of energy in the system so that kind of energy that drift would only come by splitting this water molecule and the splitting of water molecule gives rise to protons and oxygen molecule now what happens is due to this kind of splitting there's a kind of a gradient which gets generated in the you know the outer membrane and the inner membrane now let's uh, let us suppose that there are just two protons inside and let's say six seven protons outside so what happens is this will try to push themselves inside and due to which these electrons will get energized some push and they will get drifted towards photosystem 1 now what happens these elect protons will come inside but again a disbalance gets formed now the situation reverts back and let's say these six protons are inside and just two protons are left outside now again there is a gradient now these protons want to move out but this time 
they find themselves a way of moving out from ATP synthesis. Now what happens is now these protons will move out and they will rotate this ATP synthesis and due to which energy is produced ADP gets phosphorylated and ATP is produced now the another important molecule which is formed in the reaction is NADPH which is the reducing power reduction energy very important in biochemical aspects now this thing happens now as you know as i told you before that when these electrons will travel from here to here to here these electrons find themselves way out from this because you know photosystem 1 also has excitation center some protons photons will fall on this and this will this reaction center over here will get energized and push these electrons outside now what will happen now these electrons will now give energy to the system and nad becomes n a d p h